Hello and welcome to another demonstration. For this series of four floral paintings, I've taken inspiration from the official coronation emblem designed by Sir Johnny Ive. In the emblem, there are the four flowers for the four nations. So the red rose for England, the thistle for Scotland, the daffodil for Wales, and the shamrock for Ireland. So let's paint an Irish shamrock. Predominantly green, I've chosen the green gold and the cobalt blue so I can amend the green. A bit of lemon yellow and new gamboge, so a cool yellow and a warm yellow. That's all I will need. I'm just going to add some of this bright yellow in the middle. My original doesn't have this. So I'm using my artistic license just to add a little bit more colour. So I was looking at the history of the Irish shamrock and there's no particular clover. So shamrock is a clover. It that the word in Irish is means young sprig which is a young clover and there is debate about which clover it is because there's about five varieties but it is associated with saint patrick who used it as a metaphor for the i forgot No, it's a, I knew it, I knew it. Just gone blank. For the Holy Trinity, that's what I meant. The Father, Son and Holy Spirit, isn't it? Yeah. So what was that, what was I saying? Uh, uh, used it as a metaphor. Used it as a metaphor. Wow. So St. Patrick used it as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And three is actually a mystic number for the Celts. And I know it was a mystic plant for the Druids as well. Let's take some of this yellow into the stem. Right, so the green, I'm going to just start with this green gold. It's quite a bright green, but it's easier to add colour than it is to take it away. So let's just help. You can use a damp brush to blend. So if I've put colour on, it looks a bit too strong. I can just blend it into the paper, so damp brush, and then just blend. And you can see how close that actual green gold is to the yellow. But there is a little bit of difference. And I'll notice when I add the blue. it a bit better with the lighter yellow there. A lot of this is just getting the shape down. You can see. Okay. Right now in with the blue. The blue with this green gold is going to make the blue green that I'm looking for. So, a lot more blue. Drag it out. So I think that's the colour I'm looking for. No, nope, still a little bit more blue. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to start at the bottom where the colour's stronger. 
push it up. That damp brush, blend that into the area which I'm going to be leaving a little bit lighter. And I can use that quite jagged because it's not a clean edge. And then again, bring this down, go around the outside. Go around the outside. Damp brush, just drag that down. I do take a little bit more time and consideration with my colours when I'm doing a painting that is much more of a botanical painting. Take a little bit more time to look at the colours. And the shapes. Damp brush. So there was a lot more blending with a damp brush. And a lot more softer layers. Not enough colour on brush there. Take that down. You can see how that dries as well. That's why I'm going to do lots of little layers. Damp brush. A fairly dry brush now. I'm still going to put more layers on, so. Again, let's do that with a slightly darker. Damp brush. Move that. By doing it in little strokes like this, I'm also suggesting the texture that you get in the leaf. You get these little lines. And while I've got that, let me take this up because it does split this leaf. Getting much darker now. Which is actually closer to the colour. need to just adjust that a little bit then I'm going to move on to the next ones let that dry and then I can add additional values so this one next again starting at the bottom 
a little bit more green. Around the top here. Um, bring it up, damp brush, blend that. Green gold, a bit more blue. Okay, starting at the bottom. Around the top. I don't have to be neat if I'm going to be blending it in, because. The Saunders Waterford I'm using allows for a, a lot of work on the surface and you can get away and remove those harsh lines. I don't mind a few lines because actually the leaves do have some texture in here. Almost. Boom. Green gold. that up there. Tell you what I'm missing is that this goes making this one actually goes behind it. and that's given a little bit of shadow on that one. Okay, on to the next one. And then I can do a good sweep around and pick up any darker areas. So starting at the bottom. Around the top. Damp brush. Let's blend those in. <laughs> With the dark blue. Up 
off to the bottom look up keep it on that edge damp brush again probably not got enough color on there but let's blend it in anyway I think I need to let that dry a little bit more. And not work on the stem that so much. More yellow. So, don't bring that down. What I like is the Little connecting a nice orange, and that's perfect with this gamboge. It connects to there. Let's take that down. And let's make a nice lighter green. of a brighter green. Okay. Again, blend that out. A bit more solid. And Just using some of the yellow. Let's see if I can lift off that seam down the middle. And while I'm doing that, I can also brighten a little bit. Like I say, I'm adding a little bit more than I can see on the original. Getting there, nearly there. I'm going to just make a nice dark green for some final touches. They're a bit dark, but I'm going to do the same technique and blend them out. It's still a bit damp, so. Going down to a small brush because I can put some detail on. They have very fine lines, fine details. So this is why I've gone down to that smaller brush just for those little delicate lines that you see. Because you've gone quite close up. You want to add some of the details.
it. Go around the edge. Twist my brush to load it. Not enough water. Thing, pop, I always find when using these small brushes, you, you have to keep loading them quite often because there's not a lot of hair to hold the pigment. In there and one or two I don't know if this is going to work there are some threads and veins through Don't think so, I can't see. Okay, I think that will do. So there's our finished shamrock. Like I say, it is quite difficult to paint something that's quite green. So I've added a little bit of the yellow just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to check out the other three videos in the series. Music